With that being said, a few things that I've learned. One, don't ever oil cleanse again. Don't ever do it again. I learned that and I will never do it again. <laughs> hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be addressing you guys on how to reverse what happened when you did the oil cleansing. Now, I've been filming this video back and forth because something always happens. Aha! Oh, you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 1,050 subscribers. Share the video because I'm going to be showing you guys on, I guess you could say like a little recipe. No, not really. I'm going to be telling you guys on how I got rid of the whole little mini, mini, mini bumps that were in my face. So, living in LA, you can never just... Give it a moment. This is me just wearing, just after cleansing my skin and after applying the serum and sunscreen and my moisturizer. Now, my skin is still with acne. And the reason why is because one, I'm in my glory days, two, I pick my skin, and three, most of it is acne scarring. With that being said, look at this. I have a few going on there. This one right over here that was permanently scarred, which I'm gonna figure out how to get rid of. And then we have this area right over here, and then what I have under my chin. Now, under my chin is completely 100% my fault because I kept on picking on it, and then peeling it, and peeking on it, and peeling it, and that just made scarring. Okay, so, but I no longer have the little bumps in my skin. I could literally pass my finger and I don't feel any of the little freaking bumps that I would feel when I did the freaking oil cleansing and it inflamed all my pores and my skin went horrible. My skin went from being almost looking like this to getting that sarai skin to like all downhill. I went through an emotional roller coaster. I didn't feel like filming. My self-esteem was down. My skin was horrible. I was hitting a depression because I was so close of getting my skin goals. And now I was just pushing back. Now, let me say that I've been reading a lot of you guys' comments. And I can't believe that so many of us have gone through this. And it has never occurred to us to just process it before doing it a little bit. Because for me, it was just like a mind-blowing experience that things were coming out while using oil. But... Now, I'm actually thinking about it. It's like, okay, if oil was pushing out my plug, then oil was staying in there. Now, how do I remove that oil? I have no freaking clue because water wouldn't do it. Soap, maybe. But then you would have to do the, du the double oil cleansing and then wash your skin with soap, which wasn't something that I was seeing on the video to do. They were just saying grab a warm cloth and wipe it off, which is what I did. And let me just tell you, that is not the best solution to do. Okay. With that being said, when we are, when you guys were oil cleansing, when I was oil cleansing, apparently my pores, yes, they were coming out, but then the oil was staying still in my pores, even though I was wiping it with the warm cloth. That is not, let me just say that that holds thing was just like a no no it's just something that's like i don't know i'm very butthurt of the video that i saw that was very i guess it might work for other people but it's not going to work for me and i guess most of you as well so with that being said let me get to it straight up my skin went from so many little 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 pores everywhere like super inflamed to having fungal acne because that's what it's freaking called then my skin went really freaking dry and did not absorb anything nothing zero no no moisturizer no serum no toner no wash in my face my skin was just so afraid to get anything else you guys are going through the same freaking experience that i went to and it really sucks knowing that a lot of us are trying to get this this nice healthy glowy skin and this freaking happens and just crashes us down now 
Something that I've learned is to have patience when it comes to your skin on recuperating on this because one, you guys, there is no way of reversing the effect from day to night. There is not. Your skin did get inflamed from one day to another one, yes ma'am, but your skin will not reverse itself from one day to another one. It is going to take months for your skin to be basically how it was and even better. One, I ended up getting myself a silicone brush which has done wonders and it's like the best thing and I don't know what I was doing waiting so long to buy. Two, I actually double cleanse my skin. By that being said is that I go ahead and use this one or I grab another cleanser. I have the um oh here we go. I have this cleanser right over here. I grab a cleanser and what I do is remove all the debris that I have first before I go ahead with the SA with the salicylic acid cleanser. The reason why is because I don't want to go in automatically with the salicylic acid cleanser and I don't just want to lightly wash my face. I want to make sure that I remove all my makeup, all the impurities before I go and hit all my little bumps and all my little acnes. Now it is a little bit of a longer process but honestly it's better than having a lot of little freaking zits in your skin just going a bad no 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 no. So double cleanse you guys. Trust me get a hydrating double cleansing and then do your SA cleansing best solution ever now i can i could not get my hands on the sa cleansing for your face so i got myself the one for the body same ingredients same freaking quality same freaking price with that being said i do i use that on my face and honestly it has worked so freaking amazing that i use the this cerave and i use the body one of the sa because again I couldn't get my hands on the other one. As you guys know in my previous video, what I was telling you guys what I was doing, I was just using a regular cleanser and a mud mask and that was it. And that took, that was me doing it probably for two months straight. This month, I ended up finally getting that oil cleansing, the SA one, and I started using it and I instantly noticed a freaking difference. Which for me, it was like, why did I take so long to use it? So. Definitely the CeraVe SA cleanser is a must have when you are trying to remove these little freaking bumps. Number three is exfoliating and toning. Exfoliating is every two, twice a week. Twice a week will be exfoliating. Or if you guys are going to use the little red bottle, then don't exfoliate at all. Now, because you don't want to over exfoliate your face to make your skin be really dry, it's either one or the other one, you're either going to exfoliate twice a week or use that little red bottle, which honestly, I wouldn't use it until, and I haven't used it, until I am completely scab free because the burning cessation really isn't something that I'm looking forward to at all. So, when it comes with this exfoliation, this is actually one of my favorite ones. It's the only one I really actually use which is the Bliss Jelly Glow Pill. It is a gentle, non-abrasive exfoliating. Now, I know Huda Beauty also came out with one, but you want something gentle for your skin because your skin is going through so much. You don't want to go and put something harsher on it. You need gentle right now. You need to go easy on your skin. You need to do basics. You don't want to go in and start doing bam, bam, bam and coloring things. No, you need to go basics. Simple, easy, nothing much. No mud masks during the process at all because they are very drying. Don't do a mud mask. Please don't. Please. Just just wait until your skin heals a lot more and then go in with the mud mask. But for the moment, don't do any. Don't do any mud mask. Then you want to go ahead and apply toner. Now, I am using still the Pixie toner. So those are all the toners that I'm still using. But I started incorporating this one, Polish Choice, just about, I want to say, four days ago already. Which I have noticed that it is more on the drying solution. So moisturizing on this, I actually have to double moisturize twice a day because of it. But this is recommended to use when you have those little freaking little little bumps everywhere. I got this for 10 bucks at Amazon. And um, honestly, I feel like it's freaking minimizing my pores. This is why my skin looks really glowy. It's because of this product right over here. But I will say that it is very drying. So with that being said, I recommend you guys to use a hydrating serum, hydrating moisturizer. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's from CeraVe. Now, 
I love it, but I'm not in love with it. It's not something that I'm willing to tell you guys, go out and buy it. No, it isn't okay. It is there. It's moisturizing my skin. But definitely I do have to go back again to moisturize my skin because this baby is very potent. Very potent. Now, this one automatically recommends you and tells you when you read the instructions to use sunscreen. So, number four, use sunscreen. I cannot... I cannot emphasize it as much use freaking sunscreen if you don't use sunscreen on using this these if you do not use sunscreen on using this let me just tell you you're gonna feel like your skin is like like burning so you need sunscreen now I'm not gonna say that I recommend this sunscreen exactly because I am not fully in love with it but you need a sunscreen of 30 SPF and higher recommended I am still looking for a sunscreen, but I, I mean, it's a sunscreen, it's doing what it's doing, and I'm okay with it. So, with that being said, I hope I answered a lot of you guys' things, and let me know if you guys have tried any of this, or if you guys have any comments, any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope I explain everything, and I feel like I've just been talking so much, but I've read all you guys' comments, and I feel for you guys, and I am so sorry this has happened to you guys, but just me actually thinking and analyzing what the heck I did to my skin. It was just basically me inserting oil to remove an oil plug and leaving that oil in. It's just like, it's so freaking, it's so frustrating that it has happened, but it happened. So I hope I, in, I hope I clarified everything. If not, comment it down below. I'll do another update with answering all your guys' questions. Love you guys.